All right, this one's gonna be on making PureFlix more easier to use, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna combine two things we learned in the past. Basically, PureFlix uh, that we learned recently and another script that we learned a long time ago, if you actually watched my video that long, uh, is called Magnet Search. Uh, what that does is basically search from either the Pirate Bay or Torrance Z, or was it not Torrance? Yeah, Torrance EU. And once we search for the torrent we want, we're gonna pass it on to Pureflix, and Pureflix will do its thing, and we're gonna watch it with our player. Let me demonstrate this out here. So we can do PFX, which is what I call it for my alias. But this one will, you know, search for a movie here from the Pirate Bay. And from here, we just pick the number that we want to watch. Obviously, it has to be a movie, not a music. Well, maybe you can work with music, but not like any other archive file or whatever, right? Anyways, pick number one here, and it'll say start. Was that it'll say uh, downloading torrent, but it's actually not downloading it. It's actually passing it on to um, was that Pureflix in the background. So it's actually working in the background right now, but you're not seeing anything. Uh, that's okay. All you gotta do now is open up a new terminal or a new was that pane if you're using Tmux here, and um, bust out these other alias, which I call it uh, PFX VLC. Basically, it's going to use VLC, connect to that port that we want. And it's using, was that localhost at port 55055. And this is the movie uh, from that torrent that we're streaming here. Uh, so let me, well, the movie's here right there. So you can watch it full screen without, you know, downloading the whole torrent file. So that's how that works. Anyways, um, after you're done or whatever, you close out the the video player and make sure in this pane here you hit control C and that will end the background process uh, of peer flex all right so that's it for that that's what you gotta do you know just uh, type in if you want to see like the top well I said it's the top 20 for the pirate bay so you do PFX and this one will give me the top 20 torrent right now and I can watch any of this movie if I want or you can search for it like I, I showed you before. You can do PFX and then search for, um, I don't know, X Men or something. And I'll search for X Men. Um, and you can watch any of that movie too if you want, real quick. So that's pretty much it for the script. Let me show you how to set this fucking thing up, right? Um, go here and download the script. Uh, the only two things you really need is the Pirate Bay and, and the EU. Right, because those are the two sites that has torrents. Uh, after you download it, though, let's go into our. Where the hell was it? I put it here. I think I call it Pierce. Yeah, there you go. And the first one was called the Pirate Bay. Oh, SC. Inside here, they have this script called tpb.sh. So it's a shell script here. In here, all you gotta do is, or be concerned of these, uh, I guess three lines, or maybe two lines here. The program, uh, by default, they use transmission remote or something like that. Just change that to PureFlix, right? And the different, uh, we're gonna use a different port because I don't like using AA8 because other fucking programs use that. So we're gonna use our own custom port. And this one is just called, uh, or the one I'm using is called, uh, what was that, 55055? As far as the um, TPB um, variable here, uh, Sometimes the Pirate Bay changes domain names, mainly just the uh, the last extension here. Sometimes SE, XX, uh, not SX, I mean SX, and EU or info or whatever the fuck they change to. Make sure when that happens, you want to change that exactly to that, uh, you know, domain name. Uh, this one's the limit. This depends on your terminal. If you have like small fonts or whatever, uh, you want to limit to 20 or something like that. And by default, I'll show you 20 torrents only, right? You can put more if you want. Uh, that's all you gotta be concerned with that one. So that's one's for the Pirate Bay. But the other one is um, Torrance EU here. And we're gonna go edit this uh, Torrance EU.sh also. Pretty much it's the same thing, a little bit different though, but the program part, uh, you know, you wanna add in your Pureflix uh, location or the binary uh, path to it or the script path, whatever. 
and the port again you want to use the same port that we used before and also you want to limit it uh, to 20 results then you do 20 if you want 100 and put 100 whatever you want uh, so that's all you gotta do in there and the alias that I use with these it pretty much you know uh, PFX it points to that script uh, for the pirate base you can actually search and this other one PFX TRZ is the other script which is our uh, Torrance uh, EU script here so even if the pirate goes down you can use this other one and you can search for Torrance that way so you have a backup plan if the other one you know drops or whatever um, the port that I set was uh, was a 55055 and that's a variable here I'm going to put that for VLC or M player and it's connecting from VLC to the local host and that port whatever it is that we want to assign same thing with M player same deal now even though this one says local host and that's for our, you know our current computer here but you don't actually have to use uh, your local host you can actually just run PureFlix from maybe a server and then connect to it uh, remotely you know and what your laptop your tablet whatever the fuck you're using and you connect it that way uh, using your IP and then the port number which is this so that's really all I gotta do for that so that's how you set it up and I'll post that in the description all you gotta do is put that in your bash RC or ZSHRC any bash compatible should work um, so that's pretty much it for this one if you want to use it not really that hard and like I said PureFlix is a command line tool. We obviously want to use uh, some way to search from the command line also. And that's why this one is pretty convenient. I mainly use this one not actually to watch any torrents or anything like that. I mainly just use it to check if these fuckers actually post up uh, the good quality uh, before I actually download any of these fucking things. Uh, so that's a good way to check the torrent too if you want um, to see if it's legit or not. And if it's gonna waste your bandwidth if you're gonna download it. So uh, that's it for this one. Uh, PureFlix with an actual script to search for torrents makes it a little more convenient than using a web browser. That'll be it.